NFS Unbound, especially with the Volume 9 update, has become a really fun racing game to play. But it's not the most stable game to play as well. My name is Yudullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix Need for Speed Unbound crashing on your system. Now, the first thing that you need to try is just restarting your PC, like just close the game, close all of its related processes, shut everything down and restart your system and that should help at least some of you get the game up and running again. If that doesn't work, now we're going to get into the real fixes. Now, depending upon where you have installed the game from, whether it's Steam or EA, the steps for this is going to be a little bit different, but I'm just going to launch up the EA app because that's where I have NFS. All right, once the EA app launches up, uh, as you can see, I have uh, NFS Unbound right here. So I'm going to right click it and it's not going to work. So I'm just going to head over to my library. Uh, click on these three dots and then I will click on the repair option that appears right here. As you can see, the repairing has started and what this will do is just, it will check the game for any missing files or any corrupt files that may be causing crashes when the game is launching. And this should in most cases fix the issue for you. If that does not work for you, what you can try is uh, to clear out the NFS settings folder. now. To do this, what we're going to do is head over to our documents folder, which you see pinned right here, and you will see an NFS unbound folder in here. Now, if I double click this, you will see that there is a cache folder and there is a settings folder. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is delete these two files in the settings folder. This will reset all of your game settings to their defaults. This, so when you launch the game, it will kind of start as it's starting for the first time. If that does not help, some people have also reported that clearing out the cache folder worked out for them. So you can try doing that as well. This does not affect your save games because that's stored in a completely different uh, folder. Uh, once you're done with all of these three things, restart your PC just to give it uh, some breathing space and then try launching the game again. So the next thing we're going to do is try out a few EXC settings with the NFS uh, Unbound Executable. Now, fire up your EA app or Steam app if you've gotten the game there. Zoom in, I'm going to click on these three dots and then I'm going to click on View Properties. Now, this will show me the folder where the game is installed. So I'm just going to click on Open Folder to get there. And in here, I'm going to scroll down until I found the Need for Speed Unbound executable file. If you're using the trial version, then of course, you'll be going with the trial executable. I'm going to click on this, then right click, and then we're going to click on Properties. In here, head over to the Compatibility tab, and now there are a few options that you can play around with here. You can try running it in compatibility mode. You can try running it, uh, you can try disabling full screen optimizations and running it. That seems to work for a lot of people. Or you can try running it uh, as an administrator, although it's a bit of a long shot, but disable full screen optimization and compatibility mode might be able to fix these problems for you. All right, last but not least, it's always a good idea to make sure that your GPU drivers are up to date. Now to do this, uh, depending on whether you have an Intel, AMD or Nvidia GPU, uh, you're going to have to pick the utility that you use. I have an NVIDIA GPU, so I'm going to use the NVIDIA app. Head over to the driver section and then you can just uh, click this button to check for updates. As you can see, I have a driver uh, pending to install. So I'm going to make sure I go ahead and install it, restart my PC and then try launching the game again. One more thing that you need to keep in mind is that make sure that you're using the game ready driver. If you're using the studio driver, uh, it works better with apps like Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator or uh, DaVinci Resolve or whatever. But it's not the best driver for games and it can kind of throttle your performance. So make sure that you're using the game ready driver and uh, that you're getting the best possible performance out of your GPU before you launch the game. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.